Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BJ Tech News. And in MDT 2013, there are two types of drivers to worry about when deploying Windows. There are drivers with the Windows PE 5.0, which is the boot image. And there are drivers for the Windows operating system that you need to deploy with. Driver management for the boot image is pretty straightforward, but driver management for the operating systems that you deploy is more complex because there are so many scenarios and I'm going to show you some of them. Uh, the real answer to this question is it really depends on your environment. To simplify, I have broken down the drivers for the Windows operating system in three core scenarios, which is going to be a four part video, which is this is number one. And the number one is going to be uh, dealing with drivers for the Windows PE when, uh, for the boot image part. So the way that we do this is that the good thing about Windows PE 5.0 is that it supports the same hardware as Windows 8.1. So if you're, if you're lucky and you don't need to add any drivers at all, but for best practice, it's always great that you do this. So the way I, I like to do it is create two folders within the out of box. And the two folders I like to call it, let's say, Win 5.0, and we need an 86, and we need a 64 bit folder. So I'm going to hit finish. So that's our fo first folder, and we're going to create another folder. And the second one is going to be our 64 bit. You're basically saying to yourself, what should I enter into these two folders? Now, you want to enter all your NIC drivers, okay? Everything that deals with uh, network adapters, iSCSI adapters, just put them into here. Anything that your machine needs for it to work properly within your MDT, put it in there. Uh, I like to just drop all the NIC drivers for all my operating systems. Not all my operating systems, but all the hardware, like uh, different latitudes, uh, D630s, 620s. Uh, precisions from the Dells, HPs, just drop them in there. Uh, owning the NIC drivers, that's what I like to do. So let's do that. Uh, I believe I have a couple of drivers in the transfer drive. So let's uh, just drop some as import. And I believe I have some here. And what I'm doing now, I'm just going to. That's uh, 64, let's go here, next, hit next. And I'm just importing the 64-bit drivers, NIC drivers into my WinPE. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do the 86-bit, and it's the same approach, locate where you put your drivers at. And I put my drivers in here. And let's put the 86. Again, this is the same approach for your 8.1 and Windows 8. Uh, so don't worry about that. I'm, you know, using Windows 7. And that's, you're almost done. So the next thing that you guys need to do is once you do that, you need to create two selection profiles, one named Windows, uh, you know, WinPE. And the other one would be WinPE 86 and 64, right? So let's create those two profiles. So the way that you want to create your two profiles, we're going to go into the advanced configuration, uh, click on advanced uh, selection profile, right click, and you want to do a new selection profile. So we're going to give it the same name as what we gave our out of box folders. So it's going to be 5.0, 86, and we're going to hit next. Now the folder that we want the drivers to be for this profile would be our 86. And we're going to hit next, hit next, and we're going to hit finish. We're going to do it again because we need to do the 64 bit one. And uh, again, the folder that you need to pick would be your out of box 64. Hit next, hit next, and hit finish. Now, once you complete that, you need to set your deployment share boot image to these particular profiles. By default, your deployment share is doing everything. You don't want all that nonsense to be pushed out to your deployment time. So we're going to right click on our MDT deployment share, go to properties, and we're going to go to Windows PE. Now within Windows PE, as you can see, by default it goes to 86 and you got a 64-bit. Let's try the 86-bit first. Uh, 
On the X86, you want to go to Drivers and Patches. As you can see, the selection profile is all drivers and packages. We don't want that. What we want is our WinPE 5.X86 well, profile. So whatever is inside this particular profile is going to be pushed out. That's what we want. We're going to hit Apply. And we're basically going to do the same thing with our 64. And make sure that's, and we're going to hit Apply. Now I want you guys to keep in mind of the selection here is include only drivers for the following type. Include all network drivers in the selection profile. Include all mass storage drivers in the selection profile. So again, I'm trying to tell you guys that you need to separate your mass storage devices such as iSCSIs or any, I know there's some laptops out there with uh, SATA drive uh, drivers. Uh, net, network drivers is always the best. Sometimes the WinPE doesn't have the the network drivers that you guys need to boot properly. And I always recommend you guys to use MDT using WDS Windows Deployment Service so you can pixie boot. It's awesome. And once you do that, uh, just right click, update your deployment share, and that's it, guys. That's basically the the first part of this video. On the part two, three, and four, I'm going to show you three different scenarios of how to manage your drivers. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, uh, leave them at the comment section. And don't forget about hitting that like button. And uh, stay tuned for the other three parts. Peace out.